Hey guys, it's that magical time once again. We've uh, finished all the family stuff with Thanksgiving and now we can move on to just spending as much money as we possibly can. And whether you're looking to build a new computer right now or you just wanna keep an eye on the deals and what prices things are going for, that's what today's video is all about. TLDR, all the links to the products I'm talking about are down in the description and there should be timestamps if you wanna to jump to a specific component subcategory. That said, let's get on with the deals. Excellent. Today's video was brought to you by the new Lightwings fans from Be Quiet, which combine legendary near silent operation with optimal performance and of course, RGB lighting. Control the look of your PC with up to 20 addressable LEDs per fan and choose from standard PWM for airflow or PWM high speed for use with radiators and heat sinks. They're available in 120 millimeter and 140 millimeter sizes and suitable for any build in need of a functional and tasteful RGB upgrade. So for more on the new Lightwings fans from Be Quiet, click the sponsor link in the video description. Before I get into the deals, a quick word of advice to you. Make sure you double check price history for things. Uh, it's often the case that prices will go up right before Black Friday and then the, the retail will be like, hey, this is a great deal right now, but in fact, they just raised the price in order to lower it and the price is kind of normal. So you can check out camelcamelcamel.com. They can show you Amazon pricing as well as other retailers. You can pull up a specific product and you can look at the price over the past few weeks or months or however long it's been available. Also, PC Part Picker is a great place to uh, look up a product and you can scroll down. They also have a price history so you can see when the price have gone down and when they've come back up this is where you can tell like something like a 5600x not exactly that great of a deal because it has sold for as little as 260 to 270 dollars in the past but this is actually what i'm starting off my cpu deals with because the 5600x i'm not recommending people buy right now it is back to 500 dollars it was 510 uh, i don't know a couple weeks ago when the new Intel 12 series processors launched. So it is now down to two, to $300 and you can get an additional $10 off with the promo code at Newegg, but there are much better CPU deals as alternatives like the 5800X, which is eight cores and 16 threads instead of six cores and 12 threads. And that's only 40, $41 more, uh, both at Amazon and on Newegg, you can find this for around $340. A lot of Newegg's prices are matching Amazon via promo codes right now, so keep an eye on this text down here to apply that and get yourself the promo deal, the price more towards uh, $340. Of course, the best deal on the 5800X and on CPUs in general, if you have access to uh, one of their store locations is Micro Center. And you can get the 5800X for the same price as the 5600X right now at Micro Center, $300. So that's uh, probably the best bang for the buck CPU deal right now. That said, there are totally deals on the other CPUs too right now. So the 5900X, which typically sells for around $550, is going for $480, both at Amazon and at Newegg. Again, with Newegg, you gotta use a promo code, but it's, it's an instant promo code, so that'll bring the price down to 480. The 5950X even, 16 core, 32 thread process, usually sells for 750 it's down to 719 ish dollars you can tell they've done price matching at Amazon and, and Newegg here because they're both selling for the same price and then again an alternative to a 5600x or I guess if you're looking to build a gaming PC right now this is the only functional gaming graphics that I'm recommending today which is the 5700g which is also $300 uh, there's an additional $20 off promo code here and again that's an 8 core 16 thread CPU which for around $300 is going to outperform a 5600x uh, single core multi-core performance of course we could argue a little bit there, but I don't want to get into the weeds on that. Let's talk about Intel CPUs, the new 12th gen core processors. They have been well received, but in particular, the high-end one, like the 12900K, uh, haven't been flying off the shelves, I think for various reasons, like the lack of GPUs to pair them with, but that is on sale for $620, down from $650. So if you're looking for the best gaming uh, CPU, arguably, that's out there right now, uh, the 12900K is a little bit reduced in price. Also, the 12700K, which a lot of people are pointing at as kind of the bang for the buck middle of the road gets you some really nice CPU performance as well as that top end gaming performance is down to $420 in fact $415 with the $5 off promo code and the 12600k which was selling for $320 ish dollars is down to $300 at Newegg and I believe that's at Amazon as well Oh, I got them out of order here, but uh, the 12700K is also for sale for 420 at Amazon. 12700K F I'm bringing up mainly just because it's actually in stock, although that's not a great deal. Go for the 12700K for 420 versus the 
KF for 424. The KF does not have integrated graphics, and so that's convenient to have if you ever need to test a graphics card or something like that. And the 12600K is also $300, so uh, that's a screaming deal for that too. And again, definitely the 12600K over the uh, 5600X. Just bear in mind, you're gonna need a Z690 motherboard, and you're gonna need to spend at least $200 to $220 for that. And you can get a DDR4 variant of a Z690 motherboard. Otherwise, if you go DDR5, you're gonna have a really hard time finding DDR5 memory in stock at all right now, to say nothing of getting a good deal on it. Moving into our next categories, we have some CPU coolers, and this I think is the best deal just hands down uh, going on today. The Master Liquid ML280, which is a very nice solid all-in-one uh, liquid cooler, 280 millimeter radiator on there. It is LGA 1700 compatible as well. It's $90, there's a $10 mail-in rebate card and a $30 off promo code. That brings the price down to 50 bucks for a 280 millimeter all in one, and it's not like a bare bones entry level one either. This is a solid AIO from Cooler Master. Um, so if you're willing to do the rebate card and all that stuff, really good deal there. Uh, if you're also looking for uh, something a little bit more high end with more RGB, the white version of the IQ H150i Elite Capellix, which is also LGA 1700 compatible for those of you who are shopping uh, Intel 12th gen, is on sale for $160 after a $20 rebate card. Uh, and that is also a good deal down from about $200 usually. Uh, if you're looking for something that's maybe a little bit of an upgrade for a stock cooler, or if you're trying to get by with something like a 5800X that doesn't ship with a cooler in the box, and you don't want to spend too much, uh, consider the Be Quiet Pure Rock Slim 2. Uh, this is a, a nice little 92 millimeter uh, air cooler, and you get two extra dollars off with this promo code, so it brings it down to about $22. So really small investment there for a big step up over your stock coolers. Let's move into motherboards next. We have uh, some AMD motherboards first. The MSI MPG X570 is down to $160. Usually it sells for a little bit over $200, so that's a good deal there. The ASUS Prime B550 Plus, usually closer to $150, is down to $110. This is a really solid full-size ATX motherboard if you're building with AMD, so something that I can totally recommend. We've also got a Gigabyte B550 board here for $100, the B550 Gaming X, uh, which is a popular board that uh, has been used in quite a few builds. The MSI B550M Pro VDH is also one that I've recommended here and there. Now I was thinking this isn't a, as good of a deal, and that's because it's changed since I looked this up. This was supposed to be $98, but it's gone out of stock. So maybe when it comes back in stock from Amazon, it will be uh, less than 100 again. Here's some Z590 motherboards. So this is for uh, Intel, not 12th gen, by the way. I don't have any 12th gen deals listed here. You can find the cheapest 12th gen boards, like I said, for around 200 to $220. This is a Z590, so if you're looking for a deal on a 10th or 11th gen Intel CPU, which are out there, 140 bucks for a solid Z590-A board. And this is one that was selling for about 15 to $20 more than that as of like earlier this month. Also the Asus Prime Z590-P on sale for $153. Again, one that usually sells for 160 to 180. Let's move on to memory next. And here again is where there's some just really solid deals. This is memory that was good already and you knock another 10 or $15 off the price and suddenly you're like, that's a screaming deal. All right, so 120 is what this Corsair Vengeance LPX kit usually sells for. This is a 32 gig kit and it's DDR4 3600. Very suitable for AMD or Intel setups right now. Down to $100 with this $20 off promo code. Yes, it's the red version, but red, like like sports car red makes things faster. Uh, here's a silicon power. This is like your bare, bare, bare minimum <laughs> entry level DDR4 memory kit. 16 gigs, DDR4 3200, uh, and it's down, it's only like three or $4 less than it was uh, earlier this month, but it's down to less than 50, which is still a good deal. Crucial Ballistics 3200, this is a really solid memory kit. Uh, the black version of this is on sale at Newegg with an additional $10 off promo code that brings it down to $60, uh, which is a really solid kit of CL16 uh, DDR4 3200 memory. We have this G-Skill kit, DDR4 3600, also a 32 gig kit, also one that was typically selling for over 150 bucks down to 134. So another just really solid uh, memory kit with good speed and good capacity that's around $15 off what it usually is. So it's a good deal. Let's move into SSDs next. We have this Kingston two terabyte SSD here, which I uh, also showed you guys earlier in the month. A lot of people were like, dude, that's a great deal for a two terabyte SSD. It's still there. Again, it's not the fastest. It's a gen three drive. It does 2100 and 1700 megabytes per second reads and writes respectively, but that's still more than three times faster than a SATA drive. And it's a two terabyte capacity and VME SSD. We've got a WD black here. This is a PCIe 4.0. So this one's leaning a little bit more towards 
performance performance. It's the one terabyte model and it's less than $100 down to $95. You can get better capacity uh, than this, but not with PCI Express Gen 4 and a drive that does uh, 3,600 3, megabytes per second or so sequential reads. We got some crucial P2s here. Uh, they changed a little bit of the internal components on the P2s, so the performance isn't as screaming good as some of the in initial reviews say. That said, the price has now come down to reflect that. So $84 for the one terabyte version here. You also have a two terabyte version for $160 although that has apparently gone out of stock, but you can still add it to cart and buy it. It looks like they're waiting on some more to come in. And we have the, oh, well, there's a two terabyte version. I have both of those up. And the 500 gig version for only $45 if you're looking for a nice uh, sort of entry level SSD for an operating system setup. We also have a two terabyte Crucial MX500, really good SATA SSD, $160.54. Screaming deal for that. Two terabytes down in the $150 to $160 range is a really good deal for an SSD, whether you're talking about SATA, or of course those M.2 uh, drives that I already showed you. And we have a four terabyte drive. You gotta go over to Best Buy for this one, but four terabytes for $290. Four terabyte SSDs are, are, are like God tier, so I highly recommend them. Here is a, a, a deal that I already bought. I bought these, don't tell my dad, but I bought my dad these for Christmas. So I hope he doesn't watch this video because I've just spoiled it. Uh, but I want to set him up with some better long-term storage at home. Sometimes uh, they get a little bit backed up when they're backing stuff up. So I got two of these drives. They're WD Red Plus 8 terabytes. They're the Red Pluses, uh, which are the better ones, and 8 terabytes for $155. There's an additional promo code you can use on this to bring it down another $15 or $20, but you have to use sort of a unique checkout method, and I didn't want to bother with that. So 155 is still a good deal for that. Moving on to cases. Uh, here are a couple deals that, uh, this is from earlier this month, it hasn't changed, but it's a good $55 ATX case, the Fractal Design Focus G right there. This is a really good case that I've built in multiple times, which usually sells for, uh, I guess, $166. It's down to 140 for the Lianli PC-011 uh, Dynamic, and this is the white version. Not the snow white, it's the white version that has some silver and black accents, but Really good case, and uh, also one that does, the price doesn't come down on very often. So this is one of those Black Friday deals where you're like, ah, this is why I waited specifically for Black Friday to buy a case. Uh, this is this is not as a, a great deal. <laughs> this is the NZXT H510, which I just always happen to include. It's still $73, just confirming that. It's not on a great sale or anything, but, but it's there. Uh, we have power supplies next. EVGA has a 500 watt, 80 plus bronze unit for 40 bucks. Uh, it's even partially modular, so that's really nice. The 500BQ, uh, you don't even need a mail-in rebate or anything like that. We have a 750-watt Cooler Master unit, also 80-plus bronze, $65. So for anyone who's got their sights set on a higher-end graphics card that has a higher wattage requirement, and we're expecting, I can't, I don't want to anticipate too much, but the GPUs that might come out this year might have even higher power requirements than what we're currently looking at with the 30 series from NVIDIA, for example. So we also have an EVGA Supernova 750. This is also 750 watt, but it steps up to 80 plus gold. Uh, and there's a $15 rebate card that brings the price down to about $85. So that's a good one there. And we have the Silverstone, uh, also 750 watt. Uh, this one's 80 plus bronze again for 65, I guess $65.50 straight up. That's a good deal there. One last one, uh, if you are looking for higher wattage, the price does start to creep up once you get up above 750. So this one is 112. Uh, but it's the RM series, 80 plus gold, 850 watts. Uh, so that's also available over on Amazon. Let's round things out with a few more deals. The LG 27GL83A-B is only $300. This is a 27 inch G-Sync monitor. Now, not FreeSync, but G-Sync. So actually don't buy this if you have an AMD graphics card, but for Nvidia, you're just fine. QHD, so it's 1440, 144 hertz refresh, refresh rate with that variable refresh rate via G-Sync. And it's one of LG's one millisecond uh, panels from their Ultra Gear series, which are really, really nice, clean looking panels. So $300 is a good deal for that. Uh, we've got a more reasonably priced, uh, a little bit more towards entry level MSI option here, the G24C. It's a 24 inch, 1080, down to $160. Again, it's only about uh, 20 bucks off, but uh, a nice set of features here, including 144 hertz with variable refresh rate via FreeSync, which will work with uh, AMD or NVIDIA graphics cards. 
And we have a Gigabyte 27 inch, so a little bit bigger, a little bit more refresh rate, 170 hertz. This is also one that I had uh, listed earlier this month and the price has come down again, I think by another $20 or so. Uh, so also FreeSync, uh, 144 hertz, 1440 resolution with an IPS panel. So uh, that's a great deal right there. A good competitor for the LG. And then I tossed in a couple peripherals here. I really like Razer Death Adder Mice. Um, it's just one that I've used many times. And the Death Adder Essential is usually around 30 bucks. I'm sorry, usually 50 bucks down to 20. That's a great deal right there. Or if you want to step up to the Death Adder V2 Pro, which has a much fancier sensor and uh, it's also wireless and stuff like that, that's usually $130 and that's down to 70. And uh, you know, Razer, I have a love-hate relationship with some of the stuff they make I really like. Some of the stuff I'm like, Razer, what are you doing? But their mice, especially the Death Adder is one that I've, I've really liked for a really long time. So I'm happy to recommend it. Also, you guys, if you didn't already know, links to everything I talked about is down in the description. Prices are good for today, and they might not continue throughout the weekend. Some are just for Black Friday only, some will continue over the weekend. I will come back to this video and I will update the description several times over the course of the weekend. So I'll add new deals that pop up if I see them, or I will remove old deals if they go out of stock and they don't seem like they're gonna come back. But again, prices and availability may vary. And again, there are affiliate links everywhere. So if you buy stuff, it might uh, profit me a little bit too. But uh, it's a little bit of the give take relationship we have with this kind of video. Uh, that said, I'm done. I'm done talking. I'm gonna go and uh, eat some leftover Thanksgiving food and maybe order some of this stuff myself. I almost forgot to plug my store, paulshardware.net. Uh, we have some new hoodies that just went up, so check them out. The mid-weight pullover uh, and the two-tone options here with the Paul's Hardware logo. Some of these are a limited edition, if they say limited edition on them, only available for a short time. We also have new designs on uh, mugs and uh, lots of stuff with the 8-bit design, so check all that stuff out at paulshardware.net. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed it, and uh, let me know if you bought any of the deals that I recommended you, or if you have deals and you wanna post them, do that too. Thanks guys, and we'll see you in the next video.